Hi, my name is Matt Duff, and today we're going to talk about thermocouple nonlinearity. So if you were to plot the temperature differential, so the difference between the measurement junction and the reference junction, uh, versus the thermocouple voltage that you get out of the thermocouple, uh, you'd get something that looks, looks pretty straight. So uh, uh, notice that the line goes through at, at when there's no temperature differential, you're not going to get any voltage out. Uh, and you get something that kind of to the naked eye looks pretty straight. But if you were to actually plot, uh, you know, a straight line against that, and if you actually, if it was actually straight here, what you might see is that um, your thermocouple line actually bends a little bit. So you actually, the thermocouple has some nonlinearity. So if we were to magnify that and only look at the error, then we would find out, if we just looked at our error, then maybe we'd get something that looks, you know, say for example, something like that, where you've, you've got uh, the thermocouple error changes with the, the temperature differential. So if this is temperature and this is error. Uh, in both the slope of the line here when we're looking at just the thermocouple voltage and the error characteristic depends on the thermocouple type. Um, but this error is an issue if you really want an a accurate tem uh, temperature reading. So there's a couple of different things you can do. One is uh, you can actually compensate, so there's lookup tables or equations uh, where you can actually compensate for any point on the line. Uh, another option that you can do is you can actually pick an area on the line, so say I pick this area or I pick this area where the, the, the uh, performance stays fairly straight, uh, and I can uh, set up my gain and my offset of my system uh, based on the characteristics in this area, and then my system is very valid for this area and I don't have to do any math. Um, so that's actually how the, this part that we've been talking about before, the 80, 84, 94 through 97 family, that's actually how that part works. We pick a spot, uh, an area on the, on the graph that's pretty useful, uh, and uh, you don't do any calculations. We just um, use that area. Uh, in the next session, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to use equations or a lookup table to compensate for the whole temperature range.